Okay. Let's see what we're going to do here. Well, let me come on in. We're going to reposition that camera over there. Pallet down, back out. Hopefully, the camera on the tractor is working today. I got a bad one in there out of the three that sometimes shoots up. I need to mark it so I. No, but I haven't got around to that. All right, I'm going to go over and set the uh, pallet forks off. The reason I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to start piddling with the camera install. And uh, I want to, uh, I think I'm going to take the front end loader off uh, so I can get in a little bit uh, better to wire, so that's what we're fixing to do here shortly.
day. Hot, boy, I tell you, it's hot, 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 hot. That's the first time I've ever taken this off. So. Now we should be able to back out of here a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks funny <laughs> from here. First time I ever had it without the uh, front end loader on it. Now there's a reason for this. The reason I went in and took it off. I'm going to start working on the camera a little bit, and I need to get down into here uh, to see a little bit about setting up the power wiring port. Uh, and I made a new cable set up for that front camera that'll take uh, video and uh, 12 volt with the ground to that front camera. Uh, because like I said, this just sits in here. This, this front end loader just sits in here, so grounding to it uh, would pretty much give you an intermediate uh, ground. It could break, you know, and uh, flicker on and off, and I don't want to do that. So anyway, uh, like I said, first time I've taken that off there. Uh, we'll just have to see how easy it is when I go to put it back on. But I wanted this uh, front end uh, free. Uh, so that I can open up the hood, take the side panels off, things like that. So I'm going to move the camera around over here to the other side. Okay. Now, originally, I think when I, I made that first video, uh, I talked about putting the camera here uh, on a deal with a pedestal mount, and I really don't like that. It's too flimsy. So what I'm going to do is uh, right here, uh, let me raise this camera just a hair. And bring it back. Okay, something like that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is it, it has what uh, it has a dash uh, mount thing for it. To where it can be put into a dash. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a thing right here where it sits here like this. And it'll bolt down to the brackets that hold this. Now, yeah, it will vibrate a little bit, but, you know, that'll give me a deal where I can hook everything right in there. Should be out of the way of the front end loader when it sits in here. Uh, give me a good view from there. So that's the whole game plan on that. So, like I said, front end loader's off. I'll be able to open up and start looking for the power uh, setups in there.
and try to get all that wired up. Uh, I was waiting on two things, uh, me to feel a little bit better, and uh, I ordered a bunch of these uh, 12 volt uh, power pigtails that come on here. I think that's I think that's a 3.5 millimeter uh, plugs into there. So I'll have. A set of these. I'm going to go ahead and rig it up with four, uh, four of these off the power, uh, and everything will be using these to plug in and out. And so I'm going to set all that up into there. Biggest thing is I'm going to have to get in here, find a 12 volt. It's only on when the key is on. Uh, my daughter's calling me, so I'm going to uh, end this video. <clears throat> okay. Uh, see if I can swing this around a little bit and then later I'm going to take it off the tripod. Uh, as you can probably see there, got quite a bit torn apart out here. Taking the lower panel off down here, it's basically this. It was held in by one screw and then got a little cinch screw here, cinch screw here, you don't have to take all the way out and then this pop it and it comes, comes on out and you lift this bottom up. And once you do that, you can kind of get this top dash lifted up. I didn't try to pull it all the way out. Uh, just lifted it up enough to where I could get to the wires that went to the ignition switch. And what I was going to do, attempting to do, was identify the wire that uh, came on with the key. Uh, so if we come over here, I'll get the, uh, we'll see if I can get the camera over here. And so we got that. Now I turn the key. You can see it's coming on up. It's showing a little down because I just barely got the ground on there, but that's it. If I get a better ground, stuff like that, it'll do it and it's going to the mines, going back down. So that's the one right here. Um, so I've identified that. There's only three wires here in the ignition. So I know the hot one's over here. And this one right here on the top, on this side, is the one that comes on when you turn the key on, puts 12 volts out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into that, which would be this wire right here. Tap into that and run it through the firewall. Come down over here where I can hook in to all my audio, uh, I mean my video equipment, which will end up being right in here and uh, all the power plugs and everything else so it'll come out through here I'll follow these hydraulic lines up uh, from a monitor and stuff so that's where I am with it right now Like I said, that that's where I am with it right now. I'm probably going to do any more today. Come out tomorrow, hook into that hot wire, run out, put a fuse, put the dash back together where I can get out here and work on the side of the engine, get, every, get all my wires and everything else where I can close this back up. And then uh, I'll, after that, I'll just have to start working on the uh, mounts for the monitor. Uh, and the other cameras, I got this one already on the front end loader, uh, but uh, that's what I'll end up doing. So anyway, that's, I'm going to end this video part of it right now, and uh, we'll pick up some more uh, on the next one. I'm going to start doing a little bit more of the wiring.